Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please take a look. That's right, every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. 
Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something or someone from his latest adventure. He can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated, and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Falco's Final Smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves, like Samus's charge shot, can now power up in mid-air. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Marth's dancing blade is faster, and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open! Back by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Island is back, too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damages itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. 
Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villagers. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado art, but now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Ganon. Me Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus's final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. But don't worry. It'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Mac's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new final smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. At first glance, Wii Fit Trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. 
Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. And here's a new fighter. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. There's a wide variety. More than 50 of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games.
All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risks, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well-paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look.